well 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 what is the cost of this exhaust system is there any heating issues after changing to this exhaust system what is the mileage of the bike after changing to this exhaust system and many other interesting questions about the moto wings performance exhaust so i'm gonna address all of those questions in this video so sit back and without any delays let's get started what is the cost of this exhaust system my motorcycle is an expulse 200 4 valve and i'm running a full system exhaust and this particular exhaust costed me 12,800 Indian rupees this price may vary from bike to bike and variance to variance so just contact the seller for more details about the costing and everything around that the next question is there any DB killer in this exhaust system well the answer is no as you guys can see there is no provision for a screw or a nut in this muffler you can't remove anything from the muffler so the short answer is no and the next question is there any discomfort for the pillion even the rider yeah so the manufacturer claims that this particular exhaust sounds at a 80 decibels or 85 decibels somewhere around that uh, I have even tested that and there is a slight discomfort that is being felt by the pillion I have collected their opinions about the exhaust and yes there is a slight discomfort uh, in terms of sound and I think this particular exhaust is good for short trail rides and yeah for trail rides and even for many other off-road conditions but if you're running this on a highway uh, for a longer rides then this might cause a slight discomfort to the pillion or even to the rider because as the sound is a little bit aggressive the bass is improved it's uplifted so I think it depends from rider to rider as a short answer I would say there is a slight discomfort that can be felt but you may get used to it so is there any heating issues after installing this exhaust system do you feel any heat waves from the header pipe and yeah many questions related to the heating issues this exhaust is not a complete free flow exhaust system to be clear this is not a complete free flow uh, this has some amount of back pressure that is being maintained but wait what does mean by back pressure let me explain before understanding the concept of back pressure let's understand the working principle of a four stroke engine this is a simple diagram from my old textbook I'm going to keep it simple so there are four strokes in a four stroke engine four stages they are suction stroke compression stroke power stroke and finally the exhaust stroke in the suction stroke as the name suggests the air fuel mixture is sucked into the combustion chamber and it is a resultant of the piston moving downwards there is a vacuum created and the air fuel mixture gets into the combustion chamber and to the next stroke the compression stroke the piston now moves in the upward direction and now both the inlet and exhaust valves are closed the piston moves till this point and the air gets hot and the fuel is about to get burnt at the end of the compression stroke the power stroke begins when the spark plug ignites the compressed air fuel mixture 
the air fuel mixture burns and expands and moves the piston in the downward direction which is called the power stroke and this power is transmitted to the wheel through various linking mechanisms last the exhaust stroke here the piston again moves in the upward direction and the burnt air fuel mixture is now ready to leave the combustion chamber and the exhaust valve opens and while the piston is moving in the upward direction the volume inside this combustion chamber is decreased hence the burnt gas leaves the combustion chamber through the exhaust valve and gets out through the exhaust pipe and to the surrounding let's take a closer look at the exhaust stroke and try to understand the back pressure now understanding the back pressure back pressure is nothing but a pressure level that is maintained by placing some physical elements like collector or a catalytic converter and muffler or a silencer in the exhaust system when these physical elements are placed in the exhaust system there is a pressure level that is created and that pressure level is called as the back pressure let's see how this back pressure affects the engine performance after the power stroke the exhaust stroke begins while the piston moves in the upward direction the gas inside the combustion chamber wants to leave the combustion chamber and the exhaust valve opens and the exhaust gas travels through the exhaust pipe and gets out to the surrounding when there is a high back pressure the exhaust gas faces a hard time leaving the combustion chamber and at some point the next stroke begins which is the suction stroke and the air is already getting inside and the exhaust valve is now closed now there is exhaust gas is left behind inside the combustion chamber and this residual gas reduces the volumetric efficiency of the engine and it results in reduced power and reduced efficiency let's say i'm reducing the back pressure by eliminating the catalytic converter and now the system has less back pressure and now while the exhaust air tries to move out it gets easier and the exhaust gas moves out quicker than before which results in a clean combustion chamber for the next stroke which is the suction stroke thus it results in cleaner combustion and it improves the overall efficiency of the engine so you may think okay if the reduction of back pressure results in performance improvements then i will run it with no back pressure at all well that can also affect the engine in some negative ways if it is done wrong let's say i'm eliminating the muffler or silencer from the exhaust system now the system becomes a free flowing system which of course reduces the back pressure and the exhaust gas from the combustion chamber travels quicker than expected and as we are running a stock ecu the system gets little bit messed up and what happens is the exhaust gas is now traveling quick and it even turns into a pulse or a shock wave and returns back to the exhaust valve and now 
it creates a high pressure at the exhaust valve why is it creating high pressure you may ask it's because we are running a stock ecu from the factory and this ecu is designed to work well with the stock exhaust which is a high back pressure exhaust right so it goes well with the high pressure exhaust system but now that we have zero or less back pressure the ecu and the exhaust system mismatches and the overall performance is little bit messed up and it can affect the valves and in the long run it can even damage the engine components so try to understand these concepts from an expert or doing some research by yourselves and then choose your exhaust please don't buy some cheap slip-ons or third party exhausts and thinking that you are saving some money but in the long run you are creating a big hole in your pocket so try to avoid these mistakes and right safe the air fuel mixture is not running too lean so this won't cause any overheating issues i have even raised this question with the manufacturer and he even mentioned the same thing and also in my experience while riding or even after the rides i had no such issues uh, on the bike or even on the engine so the short answer is there is no heating issues on the bike it is normal what are the color variants available in the moto wings performance there are two color variants one is a black and another one is a chrome finish the one that i'm running is a chrome finish as you can see so the next question does this exhaust system comes with a o2 sensor provision and does this even have a catalytic converter and the answer to that is yes uh when i asked the manufacturer about the catalytic converter he mentioned that this exhaust system has a mini catalytic converter that is being inserted inside the full system somewhere over here if i'm not wrong and uh, yeah there is a mini catalytic converter that is inserted in there and about the o2 sensor provision yes for the bs6 variants there is a o2 sensor provision that is being provided in the header pipe uh, so yeah so let's talk about the weight of the exhaust system the stock pipe weighs somewhere near 14 to 15 kilograms whereas the moto wings performance exhaust weighs somewhere near 9 to 10 kilograms as per the manufacturer thus this results in a great weight reduction and yeah this makes the vehicle more balanced on the both sides and yeah the bike becomes more stable next up let's talk about the performance improvements after installing this exhaust system so after installing this exhaust system the power improves by 2.5 bhp the stock expels 204 valve bs6 variant has a power output of 19.1 bhp and after installing this exhaust system it becomes 21.6 bhp if i'm doing the math right i can definitely feel the power improvement in the throttle like the throttle response is improved it's more quick than it used to be if you ask me whether this exhaust system provides a performance improvement i would say it definitely does so yeah last but not the least what about the mileage the mileage of the stock ex expels 204 valve is somewhere near 38 to 40 uh on highway in cities it would come around 38 or 37 mostly 
uh, after switching to this exhaust I didn't note any big changes in the mileage uh, the mileage is as usual and yeah that is what it is and I will definitely let you guys know if there is any change in the mileage or change in the sound or change in the performance of the vehicle I will definitely update it as a separate video on this channel uh, and yeah another question